Well, it's happened to me again. <laughs> I go to record and then turn around and says, error, go re-record. <laughs> hey, that was a good message, brother. Good message. And I hope somebody who's scanning through, who doesn't know the Lord, will stop and listen and reconsider the course that, they, that they're taking that they will learn to number their days. We should all make that practice to stop and consider to number our days. Because we, we are, after all, whether one wants to accept it or not, we are mortal. And you're not promised tomorrow or the next minute. And there's only one assurance of life of you know life everlasting and that's through Yeshua. If we pick this up and apply what we learn from this and obey it, yeah, we can find life because it will lead us to Yeshua and in Him is life he is the way you know i remember having been in massachusetts i feel for you brother i lived there for a little bit you know i was back when i wasn't living right and can remember people sitting there like oh get a load of that one you know because of my accent and i used to say the same thing about them you know i did all of the the strange accents you know one guy used to go around I might not do it just right but I'm sorry my mouth's dry uh, I parked my car in Harvard Yard <laughs> I always got a kick out of uh, the New England accents and especially those from New Hampshire them and uh, John Deere tractors <laughs> I love those people, but uh, they're in New Hampshire, you know, and everything, but man, I tell you what, it seemed like Boston, and right about there, man, it just loaded <laughs> with the baskets of the nuts and the fruitcake and all this. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I, one thing I, I always stuck out about Boston was that... Uh, that aquarium. I can't remember the name of it. I, I, I love that aquarium. Love looking at all the fish there. But uh, in, in the harbor. Oh, that was beautiful. But uh, anyway, uh, there was some a few other sites, you know. But as far as living there, I would not want to live in Boston, mm -mm. nor in New York, or any big cities for that fact, anywhere. Just give me the mountains and the hills and the woods and the meadows and the peace and the quiet. Yeah. But we should all number our days. Because we're not promised tomorrow. And maybe someone will stop and consider if everyone would start doing it, you know, uh, to consider that we are mortal if we if they just stop to to number their days to kind of realize that you're you're not going to live forever. It's good that, you know that a person, especially if they don't know the Lord, that they could realize come to that realization. You can get out and say you're having all fun. Maybe you are temporarily uh, having fun doing whatever, but that's not going to last forever. Sooner or later, you're going to die. Look at all these big famous people. Look at uh, Jackson. Look how old he was. And all these other actors. Oh, there's so many of them. Can't even keep up with them. Uh, but you've seen these musicians, uh, actors have died, or some of them, they, they, their, their health is failing them. And, you know, a lot of them's no longer in the business and this and that and whatever, but people would realize it does not last forever. What are you going to do? 
Oh, I don't want to think about it now. Though well, that's something they should do, because they can come on you just like that. Thank you for your message, for that testimony, and and hearing that you're all right. Because if you wasn't all right, brother, you wouldn't been there doing this uh, video that you've done. You know, so. Uh, May God bless you and your family. And I hope this video was took. <laughs> God bless you. Shalom, Brother Chris.